the, what I've been doing is, since last time I saw you guys, which was uh, yesterday or something, I've been working on the new bed design, and so that's, uh, I spent about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes in um, scratch up, and I made a design, and I'm glad I made this design, because this <laughs> made me decide not to build, not to build it, because I'm looking at this now, and I'm thinking, man, that's going to be heavy and bulky. I mean, it's going to be movable with the wheels. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, uh, I'm going to put eight wheels. I was going to put eight wheels so that I can flip it on its side. Uh, I mean, sort of flip it upwards and then sort of so I can roll it into the kitchen so it's out of the way if needed. And then roll it around the room on the four wheels at the bottom when I just need to move it a bit. So, you know, when I'm in the middle of filming a video or something. But it's going to take a lot of space and it's not going to look like a sofa. It's going to look like a bed <laughs> with a back. And I don't want it to look like a bed because, I don't know, you know, like when, when you just have um, people just, uh, like in the videos when you see it and when I have people just coming to sit down and just relax or whatever, uh, friends or whatever, then I don't, want, I don't want some people to sit on a bed. I want them to sit on something that at least looks like a sofa. And there's no way this is going to look like a sofa because of the size. It's going to be bed sized. And so that's why. So I'm going with something like this. Obviously it's going to be covered in a really nice, thick, like a quality fabric. But, you know, actually, this is quite okay. I mean, it's a bit low, which I'm okay with, but it sort of feels more like a sofa and it's quite comfortable. Uh, there's a lot of sort of like sinking into it. And it opens into a bed really quick and it's still really lightweight. And so that means I can still hang it up in the kitchen. I need to connect some like hangy things on the side so I can just, uh, total weight, uh, off the top of my head, probably about 15 kilograms. So I can still move it out of the way or keep it here for sitting. But that build I think would have been fun, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, at least not for now, it's just too big. I'm glad I drew this and uh, decided not to, not to make it. A uh, little bit more organized. I got these in the mail, some uh, some new blades for the um, blading mabob. Preparing to do some reviews. Uh, so, wieldy slider, massive piece of crap, but uh, that'll be its own video. Uh, what else? New uh, gimbal from uh, Veravon, body cam light. Really cool gimbal. And then, uh, and quite expensive, uh, over a thousand pound. And then this one, a gimbal from Covacam, which is actually, I think about 250 pounds shipped. So really, really low cost. And uh, so I've tried this one really quick. I tried this one really quick. I will have videos about them separately. 1080p monitor from Aperture, the uh, Fine HD. This thing is super sharp, um, just incredibly sharp for focusing and looks gorgeous. So um, that'll be a review soon. And <laughs> this thing's been requested so many times. PS4, P, P4S, P dash, P dash five, P to P4, P, 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 P,
and um, and so that I can, you know, if I need the, a, a larger area of space for something, then I can easily just move stuff out of the way. Sometimes I need to unplug something to, to move it out of the way, like, so, you know, I've got cables down there and I've got cables under there, but it's much, so much easier to move stuff out of the way when it's on wheels, obviously. Oh, and I think I'm gonna get some Pixar Pro wheels for this as well, uh, so that I can move this out of the way easily. And you know, I can move it, but it's, it's a bit annoying. It's like I have to find a good way to grab it, and then it's, it's doable, but I mean, it's heavy. So uh, I got a, <laughs> I got so many new things. Okay, so. I ordered another one of these. This time it looks not as, uh, I don't like that blue color that much. I mean, it's fine, but this one is a really dark blue that actually looks, looks a lot nicer. And I love these things. I've said that before, but so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, okay, so the, I, the reason I love them is because if they don't break on you, then they, um, <laughs> then they're really great little stands um, that are really easy to use, but maybe the manufacturing has gone down in quality. With the other one, I, I, if I want to put my foot on it, I'm not, you know, I'm not stepping on it hard. If I want to put my foot on it, then I can. Um, as demonstrated by my foot over here, you see. Okay, it is done, uh, sort of. So I've uh, added wheels, and I think you know it looks still looks quite nice, and uh, just pieces of wood with tiny little wheels I got on eBay for two pounds or something, and it's really, really nice and stable. I can I can pull it from the top, and it will roll rather than fall. So <laughs> if I don't knock the monitor off, um, so even if I pull it from the top, it'll roll rather than fall, which is nice. Uh, so that means, you know, if the cat jumps on this or whatever, it's all good. So, uh, and, you know, I don't think it was this stable before. So uh, that's why, you know, it's extended a little bit there, and it's extended a little bit at the back, and I've got a few weights hanging off it there, which I think makes a big difference uh, to, to prevent it from falling. And then uh, cable holders, um, just pieces of wood, uh, screwed them in. That, that's mostly what's happened today. Uh, okay, well. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and um, I'll see you guys soon.